sure. Okay, where am I going? Oh, Battle Royale for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, we're getting there. Let's hope nothing weird happens. Uh-oh, why is the car stopped? Car oh. stopped at a red light when a slick red sports car pulls up next to you. The driver revs its engine in a in deadly oh. invitation to race. Yes. Too fast, too furious. Fuck yeah, street race. Drive, Scott. But the light's still red. We can't move yet. Yeah. Who cares? Street racers don't play by the rules. Drive. Scott feels out and so does the other car. Warp speed, Scotty. Drive like there's no tomorrow. Oh. Okay, if you insist, but I'll, <laughs> I'll go five miles above the speed limit because I'm a good boy. Ah, uh, fine. Ash, look like it looks like it's up to you. Shoot out the other guy's tires. What? How? I don't have a gun. <gasps> you don't? But I called. But you called shotgun. That means you sit in the passenger seat with a loaded shotgun and fuck up anybody who tries to mess with us. You're about to tell Polly that's not how shotgun means anymore. But when your racing opponent suddenly slams his car into the side of yours. Whoa! Whoa! We almost went off the road. That wasn't very nice. It sure wasn't. Looks like these motherfuckers want to play dirty. Ash, since you've already let me down on the shotgun, you better have a good idea on how to retaliate and win this race. Why not? Given all the ma negative to magic, your car already burnt up during this race. Things can only go up from here. Time to play a little dirty and with this a street race. Uh, the car pen is mightier than the car sword. Write a strongly worded letter and throw it <laughs> oh at the other car as a paper plane. Or it's time to push the big red button. No idea what it does, but that's what time is called for death measure. We're pushing the red button, absolutely. <laughs> really? Is it finally time to push the big red button? The suspense has been killing me. Looks like today is the fateful day. You and your friends gather around, you gather your courage, hold your breaths, and you push it. Nothing happens. Damn. This can't be right. Push it again, Ash, but do it right this time. You didn't know there's a way to push a button wrong, but fine. This time you hit the button, La Kutra Kukaracha begins to play. What the? Why? Is this all this button does? <laughs> I don't mind. I like this song. Play it again, Ash. You hit the big red button again. A cannon pops out of your trunk and fires a cannonball at your opponent's car. Wow. Nice. Whoa, that was awesome. Shame it missed, but damn, still wild. Push it again, Ash. More cannon power. Push it again, and... Like a garage, like a garage. You know, Pino, come in my... Y'all no puede caminar. Mm-mm, absolutely not. I you're, going, the you're going to Mexico. <laughs> not this shit again. Bring back the cannon. Push the button again. Your opponent car suddenly spins out, catches fire, and explodes in a spontaneous inferno. Um, uh, huh. Did we win? Uh, push the button again, Ash. You do it, and your car fills with more with La Cucaracha dulcet jaw harps as you draw off. Aside from the all manslider, the big red button turned out to be a big fun time. You gained two hype. Nice. Oh my god. So we lost two magic, but we gained hype. <clears throat> we got so much hype in this. I know. Mm -hmm. Stop doing cool shit. Welcome to the Battle Royale, where there's only two rules. Kill or be killed. <laughs> I'm already dead. Stopping to visit this place where everyone's murdering each other was a sort of questionable decision on your part. But it's too late now to leave, so how will you survive? Uh, make sure all alliances. F and hide. We don't need this. We don't need hype. Yeah. We uh, have a lot of hype. We need more soul, though. I don't know. We're gonna F and hide. Okay. You and your friends are I walking do. around the Battle Royale, uh, doing your best not to get murdered when you run into your friend Dahlia. Sup, fuckers. Welcome to the battle. I hope you brought shampoo, because it's going to be a bloodbath. Dang! You seem to, like, know what you're doing, Dahlia? Do you want to make an alliance with us? Nah, sorry. No alliances. There can only be one winner, and Dahlia always wins. I'll give you guys a head start for old time's sake, but if I see you again after this, I'm totally whooping your ass. Good luck! Nope, nope, nope. You're a lover, and now apparently a road tripper, not a fighter. There's no way you'd survive fighting Dahlia head on. I mean, survival is a non-issue for me, but it'd be big bummer if you or Scott died, so yeah, let's hide anyway. You find a shallow cave to hide in. You slide in and collide with someone else hiding in here. Oh, oh. visitors. Uh, this is a long white haired, uh, long haired, long bearded hermit with crazy eyes. Welcome to my apocalypse bunker. Let me introduce you to my closest friends, Rocky the Rock, Plunky the Plank, Rocky the Rabbit Raccoon, and Tiberius, the magazine cutout of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> cool! How long have you been in here, exactly? 
About 513 days, we're waiting on the battle royale, which can obviously only end in Apocalypse. When it ends, we'll emerge to start a new world order. So if, you let, uh, if I let you stay here, what role will you fulfill in our new society? We can't keep everyone who know, who's dead weight. I'll be the president, of course. Rocky and Rocky will be my security detail. Planky will be the treasurer. Tiberius will be the mother of my children. Party time! I'll be the representative of the party party. It's a political party that works to provide bitchin' parties that are, the post-apocalypse will clearly be lacking. <laughs> and I'll be the astronaut. I've always wanted to go to space. And with society starting over, we'll have a lot of time to invest in cool rockets. All eyes turn to you. Guess it's either a buy-in to this hermit's, uh... Instead of your gift spine ripped into bits by Dahlia, what role will you promise to fulfill? Uh, a brand new world order means a brand new eco <laughs> economy system, and a brand new economy system will require brand new internet coaches that promise easy ways to make a profit. It's a circle of life. The answer is always Bard. Acquire a loot oh my God. and save the century-defining culture of cheap action movies through oral tradition. I feel like the first one is going to be money, right? Because it's yeah. mentioning economy. Or it could be mind. Do you think we're losing money or gaining no, money? No, we're one? losing money, right? Because it could also be mind, because that is a smart oh, choice yeah. too. I, I guess I could go either way. Yeah, I'm going bard. Oh, point. Oh, oh no! You bid three <clears throat> money on a loot, an e-buy, and strum renaissance tunes and sing your song. Well, thankfully, we have to get some money. Yeah. There once was a man. <laughs> there once was a man. John Wick was his name, an assassin whose power was second to none. He did slay three fine warriors with a pencil. They claim, should you wish not for war, just give John Wick a gun. This beast forged in fire was set to retire, but a vast villain slew the man's dog. Uh. Not the dog! The rage in his breast made Wick slaughter the rest, who dared query uh, why he was called Baba Yaga. Mm Heh, -hmm. <laughs> breast! Rival gunmen he killed, car chases he bested, the Gold on Wick's head mounted, but he could not be arrested. And when the dawn finally came with his nemesis slain, Wick found peace, a new dog, and box office acclaim. Yes! Woo! Encore! Do the Fast and the Furious next! <laughs> Wow, Ash, good shit. I was so distracted by your epic bardic tale that I completely forgot to strangle you. I've got a new idea. Instead of killing you, you could follow me around the battlefield with your loot and sing songs of my exploits. We did it again! Deal! Dibs on being Ash's board bard groupies! Bard groupies. <laughs> you spend the rest of the battlefield singing sophisticated bardic tales about Dahlia, ripping people's spines out of their chests, and you gain three mind. We thought that mind oh. and money was going to be the other one. I know, right? All right, okay. we got. We need money and we need soul. Okay, wait. Go back to the other one. What's the, what's the national park? So that one looks like we'll lose stamina and we'll lose mind. We'll lose stamina and yeah, mind. Um, you know, we could stand to lose one of those. Okay. Go to the national park. We put the top up, it's hot in here. Are you sure it's not just me? Wink. Winky. <laughs> Winky face. Preserving nature is important, and no one does it better than national parks. Here you can relax, breathe, and clean mountain air, and truly appreciate the great outdoors. The hiking day! Or you can fuck around and be chaotic. Yeah, that's more, way more likely. In any event, what are you going to do at the park? Alright, so... Look for cryptids! Yeah. I mean, I yeah, we we'll, lose, we'll lose some that. mine. That will lose us three stamina. Yeah. And that, Which we already have a lot of mind. We have 16 mind. I like I the know. idea of looking for cryptids, though. I know, okay. right? We can do yeah. that. Yeah. I, I wanna look for cryptids. Sometimes you get looking for cryptids. Sometimes the cryptids find you. At least that's what happens when you, Polly and Scott, enter the woods and, to, and run into the Moss Man, your favorite moth person from summer camp. Well, hello. Hello, friends. Are you enjoying the national park? I was just chatting with some of the park rangers. You wouldn't believe who Officer Riley's wife is sleeping with this week. Hey, boo. Hey, boss. You're still a messy, gossipy bitch, I see. 
Aries! But lately I've been pursuing other hobbies, such as enjoying the beauty of nature and training to fly into the sun. I definitely don't <laughs> recommend you do that last thing unless you want to die. I am more than willing to perish for my passions. Awesome, bro. Sounds cool, bro. Uh, we're just on the hunt for some cryptids. Do you know where we could find hmm. any? Besides my glorious self, yes, this park is full of fellow cryptids. I could introduce you to one. I need to catch up with them anyway. We cryptids make great friends, but boy, are we hard to keep in touch with. But I've got a hot date with a hot campfire this evening, so you only have time to visit one person. Jazzy, who would you prefer to meet? Oh my god. Oh my god. The Fresro Nightcrawler, always happy to teach friends the beautiful game of soccer. Has some tea and pastries game. with Sasquatch with cabin where he hides from the paparazzi. Okay, so if we're gonna have tea and pastries, I think we're gonna gain stamina with that. Mm-hmm. Or I mean also doing soccer sounds like we might gain stamina. Or hype. Yeah, because we're definitely gonna lose uh, a mind like from this. So we will gain something, right? Yeah, I feel like stamina is right for the tea and pastries. Yeah. Because that's food. I, the Fresno Nightcrawler is hilarious, but I think we should probably go with Sasquatch. I mean, go with whatever your heart chooses, because we've been wrong oh, on every decision. Okay, yeah. let's go with the Nightcrawler then, because that guy's hilarious. Okay. Sports! We're going to meet a cryptid and play sport? Is today my birthday or something? Moss leads you to an improvised soccer field in the woods, with a Fresno Knight car always playing on both teams, kicking a soccer ball between the two tree trunk goals. <laughs> Isn't he a cutie? Yay! Nightcrawler, long time no see. Uh, oh. Che Moss, que bueno, que Vicente. You brought friends, I see. I'm Moss friend Scott! You're a really great soccer player, bro. Do you want to play a game together? That sounds great. Soccer is my passion. It's actually where I got the name Fresno Nightcrawler. Most people think it's because I'm from California, but I'm actually Argentinian. They just won today. Fresno comes from my stint of the Fresno soccer team. Oh, that's so cool, bro. Do you have any good soccer tips for an amateur like me? Sure, let's have a cup of yerba mate. And Perfect for Ash. <laughs> yep. And talk strategy. Now the most important part of being a good soccer player is having a good heart and great caps. Oh. Why I watch soccer. Are you enjoying some good bitter mate with Scott and Fresno the Nightcrawler playing a game of soccer? The Nightcrawler is a good sport and coaches Scott on his techniques. Also, Gambetta? Scott, remember, it's not about kicking the ball hard. It's about kicking with your heart. I know, we're going to Mexico. And I know. Ah. I wanted to say Gambatane because I'm also learning Japanese, and I was like, that's not correct. Sounds anatomically impossible, but I'll try. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Wow! The Friend Snow Nightcrawler playing soccer with an opponent for the first time in decades! My gossip form is going to freak! This has been the kickoff of the wonderful friendship. See what I did there? See? You lose three minds staring at the Nightcrawler's burning soulless uh, eyes, but gain three hype. Oh. Our hype is out of control, uh, yeah. guys. Good thing there's three endings. Uh, Aguante Argentina, La Cancha Su Madre. Okay, our soul is so bad. But so is our money. Time to snack! Time All right, to snack. um... Here's my thought. I really want to hang out with Scott, but we have so many issues with our money and soul right now. I feel like I need to go to the noodle stand. Jasmine, go with whatever heart, where, wherever but your heart But I want to you. keep this run going. I don't want us to end by accident. I could always go hang out with Scott You could week. send Ash to go get noodles. Exactly, I could go noodles. You sure? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go hang out, Scott. Doesn't noodles cost us money? Going well. No, you trade an oh, item. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Anna. Uh, so how do I hang out? I think I have to go back to the bus stop to hang out with Vera. Yeah, I think you do. And then I can choose Pretty either sure. mm -hmm, one or the other. Okay. Okay. No beds here. Crap. Bottoming? More like boomerang. I love noodles. <sighs> Where are you, Swamp Shop? Where are you guys from the Deep Shop Ride? Here's our time is I'm responsible for this association dissociation early onset dementia involuntary dementia hoppy rapid exoskeleton growth. Sorry, but I'm the only one makes me say that. Anyway, see something you like? Alright, so I would swap. Oh, Dragon something. Heat. Okay, that one I think is probably hype. Right? 
Maybe. That's this one's probably, probably soul. stamina. Stamina. Mom is probably soul. Yeah. So the we bank is stamina. obviously yeah. So um, what do we think is okay? So but I we have this, so much hype though. We could get rid of the dragon heat. We don't know that that's hype. Okay. I feel like one time we did the credit card. Oh no, it was. It was a totally legit thing that we thought was... Yeah. One, I remember one item we thought was hype, or we thought was money, and it wasn't. Oh, you know, the definitely not Visa one is probably magic, because it does have sparkles on it. I don't know, I think that might be money. So... Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm gonna go for a nobility title. We did that last time. Did we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got that last time. And I think that's hype that we'd be getting. What do we think? Launch codes. That might be mine. A rat tattoo. That's just, hype for sure, right? If the title's hype, then then this would be something else. Yeah. Like soul, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Magic. I, I don't know. know. Go with what your heart wants, Ash. My heart wants with... the nuclear launch codes. Okay. Fuck no. Okay. You got it. Okay. What was that? That was stamina down and mind up. Was that what that was? I don't know what that was. I think mine did go up. <clears throat> yeah. You sure you want that? Sure. Uh, can I choose a different item if I Let's don't? Let's do a little dance of no. joy! Ah. Let's get recharged. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna hang out with Scott. Okay. Oh, I do not want to talk about his grandma. <laughs> Let's talk about his love for chasing cars. Oh, I love chasing cars, bro! Car goes room. Those cars are fast, but Scott can be faster. I mean, admittedly, I'm not faster than the cars yet. Hey. But I'm sure with enough practice, I'll get there. <laughs> I believe in you. I've chased cars since forever. I used to do it all the time with my cousins. We had rules for it and everything. Why? Such as? Oh, I got it! Uh, the color of the car you chase would grant you different score. For instance, uh, it made sense since everyone knows orange cars are very fast, while yellow ones, not so much. Have you seen those? Most yellow cars tend to be very big and carry tons of little people. That slows them down. <laughs> yellow big <clears throat> filled with little people. Do you mean... Chasing cars with funny license plate could also give a special bonus too. Uh, we had a great time chasing cars together. My cousins can be fun and nice um, when they forget to be... My cousins can be fun and nice when they forget to be not nice. <laughs> We used to say that we should look into car companies to find a sponsor so we could turn car chasing into an official sport. Who would have thought I'd end up on a road trip in a car no less? That could be really strange that way, huh? Agreed. Oh my god, Scott, you're so cute. One day you're spending most of your life chasing cars, the next day you're inside a car chasing life. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess this is what Coach calls growing up. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, where to sit? All right. uh, talk to Vera. Ooh. Oh, her life of crime. Hm. My criminal empire. <laughs> Actually, I'm considering leaving most of my life of crime behind. Why? Why is that? Hmm. Uh, people grow, I guess. Also, my dad gets a bit too worried sometimes. And you know what? As cynical as it may sound, there may be perfectly legal and still nasty ways of making just as much money. So why even risk it? Makes sense. When you put it like that, I guess it makes sense. I know this is totally you, the way she's just mm -hmm. like, oh, ho, ho. yeah, That's although uh, maybe I could still commit a crime every now and then. The thrill is sometime, something I don't want to lose. We'll see. Maybe it's time for me to grow up from my days of being a crime queen. Or maybe I'm just telling you all this just to spread rumors that I've gone legal so people stop snooping into my affairs. Who knows? Well, the former sounds better. Or safer, at least. Ugh. Ugh. You sound just like my dad. I mean, you've been almost caught more than once. Almost be in the operative word there. Hey, whatever floats your boat, Vera. It's just that, you know, I like you and I'd prefer you to stay out of jail. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. I'll do my best to be a good girl. You can rest easy. Cool. <clears throat> Thanks for caring. That's oh my nice. gosh, her blood! Of course! You spend the evening talking about the many ways Vera could build an empire without the need of to poison or stab anyone. Your little guy is also blushing too! Oh my so gosh. Sleepy. Oh! Hey. Good job. Oh yeah, magic and stamina, we're the same. Cool. Mm-hmm. 
can do it. Oh, the uh, other dares also stay until oh, we complete yeah, them. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. I wonder if it's like Ticket to Ride where we'll lose this if we don't fulfill I it. I don't know, yeah. Mm, I don't know. New it's dares. my turn again. I didn't get the rest. Um... Okay, magic is the lowest resources. That's not gonna happen, probably. Any resources three or below that might. Um, does that. Do you think it needs to be three at the very end of this, this yeah. week? Yeah. No. No? I don't Next. think. So. I don't know. I don't think so. Forfeit a trinket that gives you hype. I'm, I'm gonna try this one. I've got a good we can, yeah, we can find yeah. out. Uh, I'll bet another player at the pit stop. Acquire a trinket that gives you hype. During the trip, meet at least two hitchhikers. Uh, at this point, I feel like getting a trinket that gives us hype is probably the best thing. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I'll try for a bit. Uh, only one resource is above six. Don't I already have that one? Uh, talk to Polly and Scott at the rest stop. Choose a plan location at the rest stop info board. I want to romance Vera, so I guess I will only one resource is above six again. That's tricky. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> but Vera, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're okay. so close to going to the knife land again. We gotta lose hype if we don't want to go to the knife land. I mean, it could Come be. On. People have told you us Jazz, there's three different endings for each thing. Yeah, and but I want to keep dating. So, oh my god, hot springs. I know. Who is this? Look at, look at. Yeah, this is me. All right, we'll yeah, lose. we're going to the, What's the blue hot one again. Blue is hype. Yeah, so we'll lose hype. Yeah. yeah, that's the best one. Yeah. They shouldn't snack between meals. You know, I'm going to the hot spring. You know, for vacation, this road trip has been surprisingly stressful. My shorts! A spa sounds like the perfect thing to relax before you get to your final destination. You wash your shorts, Emma. That's fair. I would, on purpose. Mm -hmm. The question is, how do you want to chill out? Okay, so we could get yoga classes, digital detox. What is the question? What is the bubble? What is that what? bubble? No stats will be affected. No pressure. Oh. oh. Uh, I'm gonna try to lose hype, so I will do digital detox. You and your friends are deciding what spa packages to try, and you run into Milo Belladonna, celebrity reaper extraordinaire. <gasps> I love Milo! Hello, hello. Oh, oh god, my god, Milo's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And a 69, a darling. And Scott and Polly, too. So good to see you. As this is great, an impromptu meetup at the spa with some of my dearest friends. We need a photo to commemorate the occasion. Smile for the camera! Oh, I know. I'll take a selfie making this adorable winky face, and I'll always make it because it routinely gets the most engagement. Cheese! Uh, but you don't have your phone on you, Milo. Isn't that kind of the point of the digital detox thing? Oh, right. Besides, this whole unplugged thing has been hard for me to get used to. But this detox is healthy for me, I think. I've noticed that I've gotten a bit too addicted to my phone lately. You addicted to your phone? No way! Yeah. Shocking, I know. But enough talk about phones. This is detox, after all. Why don't we take a jaunty stroll through the botanical gardens together? You stroll jaunty. The gardens are beautiful, though you catch Milo trying to snap photos several times, only to remember that the phone is gone. Are you okay, Milo? You seem a lot sweatier than usual. <sighs> I must document natural beauty for posterity. <laughs> you can do this, Boo. You don't want to spend the rest of your unlife seething the world through a screen. Just enjoy each moment as it comes. You're right, Polly. What an insightful quote. It's the perfect caption for my next... Oh, right. Oh, how tragic. Ugh, this is awful. I can feel the negative three hype draining from my perfect skin. Why did people even do for fun before cell phones were invented? There must be something you can do to help Milo unplug. How did our ancestors pass the time before smartphones? Uh, everyone had their hands glued to the smartphone. They just had them glued to old-timey equivalent. Butter churns. Mine's that butter might be That sounds like stamina, yeah. Hold and reaching discussions in Greek at Agora. There was the first an oh, this analog. Is mind that's gonna sure. we'll just choose that. Okay. Mind. Magnificent. <clears throat> Great idea, NS69. 
The ancient Greeks pioneered the practice of sharing unsolicited opinions and demanding <laughs> everyone listen. <laughs> Man, I'd love to go back in time and visit a real Agora. It must have been fun getting wine drunk and not wearing underwear and postulating on the meaning of life. Mm. Well, we can't go back in time. Not right now, anyway. I don't think the time machines are allowed on a digital detox. But we can <laughs> do true. the next best thing. Role play. It's fun in bed and in public. I'll start. Good morning, fellow Greek philosophers. I've wanted to share with you the most marvelous thing. Today, I saw a cat. But you see, the cat was sleeping over a horse, as if they were good friends. It was quite amusing, and a great metaphor for overcoming our differences. <laughs> Fascinating philosopher Myelonis, I give your cat story one like. <laughs> I don't really get what's going on, but I like cats and horses, so I'll give you a like too. Hashtag. Thank like. you, Scott. <laughs> Scott Phyllis. Scott Phyllis. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you continue to like and comment on my observations, and share them amongst your peers for further review. Okay, I've got one. A little birdie retweeted to me that at Diogenes totally owned Plato with a plucked chicken. You'll never believe what happened next. Diogenes. That goes on for a few hours. You all debate recent politics like Socrates' scandalous public murder. Miley even commissions an artist to sculpt each of you a profile statue. Mm. This was so fun, you guys. By this entire time we've been talking, I didn't even miss my phone. Okay, everyone, says spa instructor. The digital detox over. I'll give everyone's phone back now. <sighs> yes, finally. Give it to me. Give me my precious. <laughs> Y'all get your phones back. Milo, Polly, and Scott immediately open their favorite apps and begin silently scrolling. <sighs> well, you may not have kicked, uh, started a new age of enlightenment, but you still gained three minds from this experience. Ooh. Hell yeah. Nice. nice. So All right, it's me. Oh my oh, god, wedding! Like a wedding! Wedding crashers! Or severe attack. Uh, okay, I mean, that it potentially might give us hype. Um, but it might not. I mean, I can choose the one that's There's not. two others, yeah. <clears throat> I'm refreshed and ready for chaos! That's cool. Oh my Crash god, we're gonna crash a wedding! Ah, oh, weddings, the union of two or more soulmates. Pledging life to uh, and love to each other for the rest of their la days. If you believe in that true love stuff, it's not. At least weddings are a fun place to get to dress fancy and get drunk. Free <laughs> rice! Woo! They're also fun to crash, which is what you're doing now. Shh. Look at us. Oh my god, Look at us. So, so cute. cute! I love Polly so much. So what do you want to do? Uh, okay, so we're not going to do this one. Catch the oh bride. Oh my god. Uh, talk to the runaway bride. Oh my god, Ooh, you can interrupt saucy. it. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I kind of like want to do that. Do it. Um... That'll affect three sats. I know. I'm working yeah. to do it. You each have your own approach to sneaking into the wedding. Polly phases through the wall. Use your trusty plot armor to get you into whatever wacky <laughs> situation you want. <laughs> Scott wears a lampshade and pretends to be furniture in the back of the room. You're pretty sure security just doesn't have the heart to throw him out. Aww. You watch the ceremony. It's normal and boring until the preacher says, If anyone objects to this union, speak now or for her old your peace. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Look at her! She looks gorgeous! So beautiful! Them's pranking words! I object! What? what? Why? Who even are you? <laughs> I'm Pippin Pussin Pippin Pop Pop Adipolis! Professional wedding objector! I'm a pro at spotting a doomed couple, and these newlyweds really take the cake! <gasps> Scott! I object too! Oh my god! I'm a lamp, and I don't think it's fair that furniture can't legally marry! Scott. I'm gonna keep objecting until this injustice is fixed! Object! Object! Scott, this no! Time. Scott, this is a wedding, not a courtroom! It's not the same kind of objectin. objection! <sighs> Who, Scott? I'm not going to stop objecting until a household object's love is recognized in the court of law. Object! <sighs> oh no, he's too into characters, Ash. Can you distract everyone with an objection while I snap him out of it? The pressure's on now. What do you object to this union? How far we go on this prank? Uh, marriage is a scam. You know what isn't a scam? Investing your 401k <laughs> at an early age. Uh, the open bar has been out of limes for like an hour. Uh, we can continue this ceremony when the pressing problem is resolved. Or beware. That is not your fiance. It's an it's this evil twin. We're doing that. I don't even care what the rest of it says. <clears throat> if you really think I'm an evil twin just because I grew a goatee? The groom says, I just thought it looked nice. Goatees are due for a comeback, you know? Um. Fair hmm. enough, but what about your <gasps> sister Eyepatch? Does this is Majima. that mean it's Majima. you're evil? 
Wow, so now everyone who wears an eye patch has to be evil? Do you realize how fucked up you sound? It's true there was evidence of s- circumstantial, says the best man. But it's worth noting that the groom's parents did have twin boys, Richard <gasps> and Evil Richard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh? Wow, really? That's pretty indic- enticing then. Are you actually Evil Richard? Fine, you caught me, the groom says. But maybe if my parents hadn't named me Evil Richard, I wouldn't have felt the need to be evil. Nature versus nurture, people. Wait, so you're actually the evil twin? The other groom asks. That's so crazy. I'm the evil twin, twi- or evil twin too. I stabbed my twin brother and came here planning to disrupt the whole ceremony, but I guess I don't have to do that anymore. Really small world, evil Richard laughs. I smothered Richard with a pillow to be here. I guess great evil minds think alike, my dear. They are. They're in love now. Oh, love wins. The best man frowns. Uh, should someone think of call the police or... Shh, ACAP, don't spoil the tender moment. Your prank ended with, uh, uniting an evil power! No! What? Soul is a negative one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, this is no. over. Oh, no. No! Ash, this is all your wrong. fault. He was the last stretch of your souls and can't finish the road trip. Luckily, hit several pieces of your soul in cool lockets and swords in case this exact situation <laughs> happened. <laughs> it was the one true lesson from that young adu- uh, adult novel you read. You can't remember where you heck you hit all that soul-bearing garbage, so I guess you're doomed. Oh no! Ash! Game. I wanted to smooch Scott. What's game over stat mean? You lost the most soul. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, dang. I wanted to smooch Scott. I know. I wanted Ash, to you smooch ruined me. I ruined it. We'll have to do another one during Stump Miss. Yeah, we will. Dang. Hey, Ooh, we unlocked some more oh, stuff, though. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. All right, y'all. Well, if you want to see some more Monster Road Trip, we've got a couple more episodes out on the channel. One is us, uh, is of us playing the demo, and the other is us doing a full run. And, spoilers, we managed to get the hype ending on that one. So, be sure to check those out as well. Do it. Um. Anyway, we can't always win them. So, whatevs. But we can't do... if Ash doesn't go off the rails. Listen, it was fun. Well, I got to object, okay? I would do okay. it again. Um, anyway, y'all, with that, that's been Monster Road Trip. With that, we're going to move on. 